All right, so let's take a look at Pythagorean Theorem. This is the second um, skill that we're looking at on our notes packets here, and we need to understand that a square, the area of a square, plus the area of b square, is going to equal the area of c square. And we're like, what area? What, what are we talking about in squares? So for any right triangle, if you take the sides and make squares, then you'll see the areas of a and b squares will always equal the area of c square. So, so here is our right triangle. This side is 4, this side is 3, and this side is 5. It's a very famous right triangle that you'll see over and over again. So let's just take that triangle. And what we'll do is that we'll take this 4 side right here. It's the length of 4. And you can see that it's got 4 squares tall, right? 4 blocks tall. If I make a square using it, making a 4 by 4 square, and see how it attaches to the, the left side of that side of the triangle. Now, if I called this A, then this would be square A. If I call this one B, then this 3 by 3 square that we're making right here on the 3 side, this would be square B. And then, of course, this would be C right here, and this would be square C. And, you know, if we come through here and we just review real quick about what is area, well, you can count up all the squares inside the block. You can see on square A, there's 16 blocks. A squared equals 16, right? We, we understand that. For here, there's 9 blocks. And for C, here there's 25. And again, what we do is I need you to understand is that this is showing 8, when it says A to the second power, it's trying to show you that that is representing the area of the square that's beside that part of the right triangle. And so this B squared right here is saying, hey, can you go to, to the B side of the triangle? Here's B. Can you make a square? Well, this is the area of it. So B squared will be that. And, and so when we say that, hey, this side is 3, what's 3 to the second power? What's 3 to the second power? 9. What's this side right here of A squared? Well, it's, it's 4 high, so 4 wide. 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 to the second power is 16. And what is 16 plus 9? It's 25. Well, your c squared is going to be 25. And you can see right here that we have, you know, 5 high and 5 wide. So 5 times 5 is 25. And so this square, it really is 25. And you will see this relationship again and again and again for right triangles. If we take the areas of the squares beside the right triangles, the a and b sides, they will always equal the area of the c squared okay and that lets us be able to do a lot of cool things later on but this is just a fact and um, essentially on the next skill lesson we're going to talk about what this is a squared plus b squared equals c squared and we'll take it from there